what's up guys we're gonna grow beats today i'm gonna show you how to make complex chords all right and if you guys haven't subbed already make sure you do hit that sub button because it does help me out a lot and let's just get started now this video is going to be part one and then part two will be uh, complex melodies so make sure you come back for that and the reason i'm doing that is because these are complex and i don't want to confuse people by putting it in all in one video so i'm going to separate them to make it you know a lot more simple so i'm gonna grab a scale here i'm just grab default f minor now uh my videos usually build on one another so most of you should know already start with your foundation which is your bass notes so let's go all the way to the lowest bass note we can go to so all right so that's our f which is our root note it's the lowest one we can get because we can't even go here now you place it here let's offset it a bit to create some bounce later and then choose a note that we like and you really want this part these bass notes to sound good because this is your foundation and without this it's everything can sound thin and weak so you don't want that so let's play it All right, sounds pretty good to me. Now you're probably like, oh, this sounds too low. This is too low for the 808. It's not, trust me, just trust me on that. So now we're gonna add more tone and just pull this up an octave, copy it, and then control up. And then we can lower the velocity just a bit. And this is just gonna add a little bit more tone to it. Simple as that. All right, so now, this part, you can go up one octave or two octaves. So basically I take this note and I just pull it up two octaves. Okay, and that's gonna start, that's gonna be our first note for our chord. So this first part and each each of these is one part. So this is the easiest part and this is gonna be our hardest part to do for the chord, all right? So what you wanna do is skip every other note first and this is the easy part, so Basically, in this scale, which are the white notes here, you skip every other note from the root. So start here, go to the next one, skip this one, go to this one, skip this one, go to this one. Now to make this complex, because this isn't complex, to make this complex, you take this, control down, all right? And now this looks something a little bit more complex, right? Especially when you bring these in. And complex and what a complex chord is pretty much to me is if you look at it and you can't figure out how they got the chord to look that way then it's pr pretty much complex okay and and basically what i mean by that is like if you would use the chord method here so skip every other note up oh, it doesn't follow the it doesn't follow the method right so most people won't be able to figure out how you got this note there all right, and then a cool thing you can do is actually do this and then mesh them to get a more lush sound, so. All right, but we're not gonna do that. That's a whole nother video. So second part, same thing, pull it up two octaves. Now there's two methods you can do with this. You could do trial and error, you skip every other note. Listen to it. Oh, that don't sound good, so. What you would do with this top note is just go to the next note. Don't skip this one and go here. You wanna go here and just go up one. All right, and then same thing, pull it down. Now the flip-flop method, and this is just a method that I made up. You start here on your root, right? Well, not your root, but the note, the bass note that you have, start there and you just go skip this one go up okay and then you reset and then you just flip it you skip this one you go like that and then it's the same thing you just flip it but it's just a quicker way of doing it without having a trial and error all right so let's play everything so far sounds pretty good Okay, so now we're in the second half, and the reason I'm doing this is to put a timestamp so you, once you learn the methods from the first part, you can learn the second part. 
because these are going to build on one another. So basically what we're going to do is take our base note. All right. Pull it up two octaves. Now we're going to make a triad just from this note. So let's keep every other note and basically the triad is just a normal chord. All right. So that's pretty simple. So now what we're going to do is reset back to this note and work backward and just go. I would just suggest doing one note. You don't want to overdo it. Um, you know, a lot of people, they want to put all these chords in here, but I say, keep it as simple as you can get it. So this, this is the note that we landed on when we skipped this one, right? So now let's copy it, go up an octave. And I would suggest deleting this or any note from here. You can delete. If it sounds good, you can keep it, but I don't really suggest keeping it because it might sound muddy. So like, even if you want to pull it, pull it up, It just gives it a weird tension and I don't really like that personally. If I take it out, it removes that tension. All right, simple. So now let's do the last part. And this part is pretty much, it's gonna be the same exact thing here. All right, so pull it up, two octaves, same thing, make a chord, work backward, land on our C. Okay, and when I say work backwards, just start back on that bass note that you moved up. So you see it says D sharp. When you moved it up, basically go skip this one, skip this one, reset, and then skip this note and go here. And then we could delete this because we have our notes that we need, pull it up. Boom, now you got your chords. And play the whole thing. All right, and what we could do over here, if you wanna like add some rhythm, I'll show you some. You can, let me see, we could pull this. Actually, let's pull these here. Now, let me actually pull them out for you. So we could do something like this, copy it, give it a little different rhythm. I like that. And it's gonna sound real good when we put the melody and stuff in there, trust me. So that's pretty much it. That's like make complex chords. Um, it was a pretty lengthy video, but I just wanna make sure you guys really understand these methods because once you really learn these, um, you can really make any chord that you want or any complex chord that you want. But that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Uh, make sure you tune in for the second part with the melody and then we're gonna make the beat in that video. But that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.